After a high-scoring first half, the Steelers' defense shut out the visiting Texans in the second half Sunday for a 28-21 victory. Pittsburgh is 3-0 for the first time since 2010, while Houston will now have to dig itself out of an 0-3 hole. Pittsburgh, down 14-3 early, took the lead after Ben Roethlisberger threw first-half touchdown passes to Eric Ebron and Juju Smith-Schuster. The Texans' offense, led by Deshaun Watson, gave Houston a 21-17 halftime lead after Watson found Will Fuller for a 14-yard score. After a rocky first half, the Steelers' defense clamped down on Watson, sacking him five times while coming up with a big fourth-quarter interception by Mike Hilton. The turnover set up Pittsburgh's game-winning score, a 12-yard touchdown run by James Conner. The Steelers extended their lead after Smith-Schuster scored on Pittsburgh's two-point conversion. After a sack by TJ Watt helped force another Texans punt, a third-down completion from Roethlisberger to rookie Chase Claypool iced the game for the Steelers. Roethlisberger, who on Sunday surpassed Mike Webster for the most games played in Steelers history, enjoyed another solid outing, going 23 of 36 for 237 yards while improving his season touchdown interception ratio to 7 over 1. Connor rushed for over 100 yards for a second straight game, as the Steelers ran for 169 yards on 38 carries. Bud Dupree paced Pittsburgh with 1. 5 sacks. Watson, who went 14 of 18 in the first half, finished with 264 yards on 19 of 27 passing. Randall Cobb led the Texans with 95 yards and a touchdown on four catches, while Houston's running game was held to just 29 yards on 15 carries. Here's a deeper look into how the Steelers were able to come from behind against the Texans. Pittsburgh played complementary football during the second half. Following Hilton's interception, the Steelers executed a 12-play, 79-yard drive that was capped off by Connor's game-winning touchdown. The Steelers' defense then forced a quick three-and-out before giving the ball back to its offense, which made sure the Texans would not get another chance with the ball. The Steelers dominated time of possession, controlling the ball for nearly 37 minutes. The Steelers continue to receive stellar play from former Pro Bowl kicker Chris Boswell, who made both of his field goals on Sunday that included a 26-yarder at the start of the second half. Boswell has now made all five of his field goals through three games. Houston appeared to be ready for a shootout after Watson's second touchdown pass gave the Texans a 21-10 halftime lead. But in the second half, Houston, after continuing to get nothing from its ground game, became one-dimensional, as Watson became an easy target for Pittsburgh's pass rush. Defensively, Houston's run defense, ranked 31st in the NFL coming into Sunday, continued to struggle, allowing the Steelers to run for 169 yards on 38 carries. 